dude, I gotta start by telling you, like, these first two episodes of Halo blew me away. I've played the game my whole life. You guys brought it to life in epic fashion. So congratulations and thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, every vote of confidence we get from the fans is one that I take seriously. Thank you so much. I'm with you guys, man. And I gotta hear about the first time you put on the costume because it looks so good. Like, yeah. does it fit well? Is it comfortable? It, it was just, a process. <laughs> it was a like process. feel like the ultimate badass of that thing? Yes. The answer, the short answer is yes. What, put it, wearing the suit is one of the great, like, uh, pleasures and cosplay moments of my life. I mean, I'm, I'm the Master Chief and, you know, who would have thunk, right? All of that is true. Uh, the reality of getting the suit right was, was very challenging, as most things on the show were. It was a huge challenge because it's such a massive universe and such a uh, crazy visual uh, experiment to try to realize, right? But um, so I went to London about five or six times to FBFX Studios who made the costume. Uh, just this is all before we shot just to like try to get the suit right and make it fit right. And, um, you know, eventually we ended up with something that was the best version of what we could do with it. And still it was incredibly hot, incredibly uncomfortable and really, really makes you quite immobile and, and yeah. makes movement quite difficult. So to then to try to bring that to life and make it feel like it's this piece of future tech that actually makes you super capable rather than weighing you down with 50 pounds of plastic was one of our big challenges. You're like at the Michael Keaton stage of bat suits. You gotta get to like the- I like it. The pat I like, like it. You know Let's I mean? just skip the Val Kilmer, George <laughs> yeah, Clooney yeah, 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 yeah. suits and just get right to the Christian Bale. Season two, Christian Bale. Here yeah, yeah, and, and, and like a flap if you need it. I don't know if they hooked you up that. I've oh, heard we're the good stories. on that. We're good on that. No, we're good. We got all the bathroom technology yeah. is covered. There you go. Yeah. I, I wanna hear it because this starts out with like Epic action, you're face to face with Covenant, and I know the Covenant are added in through random through visual effects and stuff. What is it like to feel like what are you facing on set when you're taking on a Covenant and you're seeing like energy swords activated? What we see, yeah. like, do you see any of that? How much of that is there for you? Uh, you see stunt guys on stilts <laughs> uh, playing Sengalis, right, because of the height. So you've got uh, that, and then uh, the brutes are on even higher stilts, um, and the grunts are just tiny, the little short stunt guys. <laughs> Everything's, you know, height relevant. Uh, but yeah, stump people in like, you know, tights. Yeah, with that's balls cool. all over. That's cool. Yeah. One thing, I, I gotta ask if you were nervous because like when you play the game, you're, you think of the mask yeah. and you're putting a face to Master Chief mm -hmm. now. Like you are now, like you are the guy, you are him. Yep. And does that become nerve wracking? Is that exciting? Cause like, like Pedro on Mandalorian never takes mm -hmm. his helmet off. Yeah. And this, we see a lot more emotion right mm -hmm. out of the gate in the first episode. Does that get nerve wracking when people know that like, the green and gold, and now we're putting a face to it? Uh, no, it's not nerve wracking. It feels really exciting. It feels like a real opportunity to, um, you know, help. It, it's, it's tailoring the medium, uh, the, the entertainment for the medium, right? The, Halo is a first person shooter game. And so we've all, Chief has always been kept as a symbol, a uh, very vague character that you don't really get to know because you're meant to be him. You're meant, you put yourself in that position and fill out all the details of the personality with your own. Uh, we're making a TV show, and in order to have an audience connect with the character over the course of a long-term TV show, there's no way you can pull an audience through that without getting to know the character, without relating to the character, without empathizing with the character. And that feels virtually impossible to do with a helmet on all the time. And you don't have the real world rules against it like you do in The Mandalorian. If The Mandalorian takes his helmet off, he's not a Mando anymore. In Halo, the, the Spartans take their helmet, their, their uh, Mjolnir off constantly. They have a whole life outside of it. The only rule about not taking your helmet off is the one about Chief not taking his off because you're meant to believe you're him. So this is a new form of entertainment. It's a new medium. It's a chance for people who have played as Chief for so long to put the controller down, sit back on the couch, enjoy the experience of learning about the Chief in a way that you have never done before. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it's an opportunity for all of us to get to know him in a better way.